it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for race number six as we progress through the Hollywood Bet Scottsville card. Race number six is over 1400 meters, so they go around the turn. And in race number six, we do have a rerun of number two, Dan Dola, when running second to Beechamwood Boy last time out. And it'll be followed by interviews with trainers Byron Foster, Vaughan Marshall, and Alison Wright. Maximum along the rail. 300 metres to go. Beechamwood Boy and King of the Mellow come forward. Dan Dola, the blue sleeves and cap, asked to go with him. However, Beechamwood Boy is now starting to extend the gallop the last 150. He's full of fire and steel, and that's it. Climbing the ladder. Beechamwood Boy cruised in. Dandola possibly second from Go Man Go. Love bomb behind these. Beecham would... Oh, ensuing, yeah, he was very, very unlucky in his last two starts in, in Cape Town. Um, particularly his last start uh, over 1,400. Uh, he's well drawn. Um, he's done good work at home, so I think he's in with a good, good chance. Iron Will is up in class today. Um, he's well, he's fit, and um, a bit of a flat run last time out, but... Uh, Hopefully he can finish in the money. Champompo Champizi last time out, the race didn't work out for him. Um, he's well and uh, expecting him to be involved in the finish. Yeah, Warren, go man, go. Uh, nice comeback run the other day. Um, look, we, we've always thought 1400 is probably his better trip. Would have liked to give him one more 12, but he's a top horse that only really runs his best races on the grass or, or pulls up better uh, off the grass than on the poly. So. If this race has come at the right time, I suppose, for him, and uh, we're going to have a, a bash at the 14. And uh, look, he's honest. Uh, what you see is what you get with him. He's, he's run against some nice horses in the past. Um, he's obviously getting long in the tooth, but uh, he's, your, he's your typical PA type of horse. So we think you'll run a competitive race. Thanks very much to the trainers. You got the comments about their respective runners for race number six. And just looking at the betting, number three, Noble City, pretty much unknown. He could be anything. He could be climbing the ladder. He could go right through the divisions. At this stage of the game, I'm going to watch number three, Noble City, at 14 to 10, because I don't believe that that is the right price. That's just my own opinion. I haven't seen him run to date, so I don't know too much about him. What I can tell you about Noble City is he did win on debut, beating Cabona Lacerdi by three lengths, which appears impressive on paper. And then when you look at the form lines, the form lines have matched out and worked out particularly well that debut run. He's been off the track 48 days. The Peter Musket stable, they absolute machines. They... They're really of the top quality. Peter Musket of the highest quality when it comes to a trainer. He knows his way around a horse. So certainly Noble City could be a horse that's far better than an 88 at this stage of the game. However, I'm going to sit on the fence. When you look at the maiden win, very impressive. Second time out, you can't knock him because that was over 1,200, hung out and held up at the 400 to the 250 meter marker. So he was held up, he was a little bit unlucky in the running. The average rating was a 75 there, so he is jumping up in class to a 92, and that just gives you the indication that the stable rate him. They took him to Cape Town, and this is going to be his acid test, where he's taking on a little bit stronger now. He jumps up to a 92. When I say a little bit stronger, these are pretty much tried and tested horses. So he's going to have to come through this and win it with flying colors if they are looking for the season ahead for one or two of the features. Now, when it comes down to the value perspective, Number four, ensuing, and number two, Dandola. Number four, ensuing, he's five to one, and number two, Dandola, at ten to one. 
Let's touch on number four, ensuing. The average rating was a 91, which he took on last time at, where he carried the 52 and a half. He carries the 56 kilograms. So there's only half a kilogram separating numbers three and four. So number four, ensuing. You heard from Vaughan Marshall, luckless his last two runs. I remember when he came to KwaZulu-Natal last season as a two-year-old, they said he's got a lot of ability and they thought that he'd be a horse to go through and win his fair share. He has picked up three victories to date. And when you look when he went back to Cape Town, he went back to back, beating Cheeky Laddie and Charlie Malone. His next two races, very, very unlucky. So numbers three and four, it'll be quite interesting to see how the three-year-olds go. But the value is definitely with number five ensuing, not knowing how good number three Noble City is. Crying out for the extra trip. The 1,400 and further could be what he's looking for. And then number two, Dan Dola, a horse who hasn't been the easiest of customers. So you've got to give credit where it's due. As I mentioned, the Peter Musket stable, they know their hands around their horses. So does Tony Ribbeland. A horse like number two, Dan Dola, from day one, perhaps he hasn't been the easiest of customers. As you've seen on race day, Tony Ribbeland goes out onto the track with him. They've got to get the rider aboard him. They put in many, many hours with a horse like number two, Dan Dola. And after his good second time out, second run last time when running second, I think he's also 10 to 1, who could just be a little bit of value. Then you throw an Iron Will, Champompa, Champizi, and the course specialist, number eight, Runway Song. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be all that much of help. Number three, Noble City. For me, 14 to 10, he might come through and win by five lengths. But I've got a healthy respect for numbers four, two, and seven, along with number five. So when there's opposition in the race and a horse is 14 to 10, I'll be looking to take some swingers, exactors, and I'll definitely throw in number three, Noble City. But this is going to be a race that will tell us a bit more about his future. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.